But think about the five people who were killed. The no cut, the no in a slum. They were kidnapped. They were brutally tortured and they were murdered. Our friend Brandon, can you imagine? He just opened his door and the military was there. He was just gonna pick up his daughter. And they shot him in the spine. I know Chad, I know Joran. Can you imagine what they did to them? How could you think of doing that to another person? How could you take? I don't even... This is who we're dealing with. This is the real face of the Philippine military. This is the real face of the Philippine police. This is the real face of the Philippine government. And it's not just under Duterte. Mm -hmm. This happened under Aquino. Mm -hmm. This definitely happened under Gloria. One of the most vicious military officials, Jovito Palparan. You know what they nicknamed him? They called him the Butcher. Ooh. Ooh. So you can imagine what he did to people. And now they're doing it again. They're butchering Elgin. They're butchering Duran. They're butchering people who dedicated their lives to serving. Yes, Verdugo! They have Verdugo, the executioners. In just less than two months, I think it's 45 days, there's going to be an election in the Philippines. Who are the people at the front? Mahanak ng diktador! Bongbong Marcos! Sara Duterte! Are we going to let them win? Win? No! We can. We cannot let them win. Because imagine what power Duterte has right now, even without a Marcos Duterte dictatorship. But I think Chad knew, Jerain knew, Elgin knew, Brandon knew, we all know that it's not just about the people who are president. It's not just about one person in power, but it's about the entire system. Yeah. Mangasama, there are people in the Philippines right now. Not only do they not have land, you know, these are, these are things that we always hear, that people are landless, that there's foreign control, that there's fascism. But I want us to think, no matter how hard it might be, I want us to think those peasants who don't have land, when they go hungry, they feed their children water from a stream, they boil it in stones, because at least it tastes like fish. There are migrant workers all over the world who are forced abroad because they need to find better opportunities here. Yesterday was the anniversary of Flora Contemplation's death. An OFW who was killed in Singapore because she was defending herself. We all have our own stories of our families, of ourselves. Hurting because of foreign domination in our country. And then, of course, we have the state fascism. We have what happened to Brandon. We have what happened to Chad and Jerain and Elgin. So many countless others. There are unspeakable things that the military 
and government do to these people? It's hard to look at them when we're reminded every day of what the enemy is capable of. But I hope today showed us that today we're capable of so much more than that. You know we stood out here for an hour or two, but these Kasamas were facing so much more threats and they stood their ground not just for an hour, not just for two hours, but until their dying breath. And so I hope their spirit we can take with us when things get difficult, because I know it's hard. I know it's hard to be organizing here in the belly of the beast. I know it's hard to find time to balance everything. But there's a way, and that way is if we do it together, that way is if we find power in each other, that way is if we know who the enemy is and we know what side we're on. And those are Jerain's words. Every day he questioned himself, what side am I on? And so after today, I hope that we can also ask ourselves those questions every day to ground us, to steal us, to firm us in this fight because it's not over. We'll be back, we'll have more people, and we'll show them what's up. The National Democratic Movement of the Philippines believes that we should be fighting against these basic root problems, believes that we should be fighting for genuine independence, for genuine democracy, and we have uh, a chant that we really like uh, that's all about taking down those three basic problems yes. of foreign control, imperialism, the problem of land in the Philippines, feudalism, and the problem of fascism or bureaucrat capitalism. So I'm going to chant these three things. The response is Ibagsak, which means to take it down. And then we're going to call upon the Duterte regime to tumble. We're going to say, Babam Sak, we will fall. But when we're chanting, I want us to think about our martyrs, how they were killed, but how we will rise up and how we will win. Imperialismo! Ibasa! You know this more! Ibasa! Estado, 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 Estado,